Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today is the second and final part of the theme, Activating Your Faith. Faith is an absolute confidence and belief in God and His Word. Your destiny cannot go forward without faith in God. Faith is reliance, loyalty and complete dependence on God. When faith is at work, God's performance is sure and inevitable. The reason God will perform His works in your life is faith in Him. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith we understand that the world were framed by the Word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Friends, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Christianity around the globe revolves around faith. Take away faith and there will be no Christianity. Activating your faith implies that you already have faith all you need to do is to activate it. If you have a mobile phone and your mobile device has gone dead and there is no power in the mobile device, there is electricity available. All you need to do is to plug in your mobile charger and plug it to the phone. And your mobile phone which is dead and useless will begin to have power and you will be able to use your mobile phone again. That is what it means to activate your faith. To effectively activate your faith, there are three things that you need to know. The first is the words we speak. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat the fruits thereof. What this verse simply means is this. To have an active faith in our lives, you need to watch the words you are speaking to yourself. You need to watch the words you are speaking to the situations in your life. And you need to watch the words you are speaking to the people around you. Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Therefore, friends, you need to be careful the things you are saying to yourself. In order to have an active faith in your life, watch the things you're saying to yourself, the things you're saying to your children, the things you're saying to your husband, the things you're saying to your friends, because life and death is in the power of the tongue. In order to effectively activate our faith, the second thing you need to know is that you are protected by God. Psalm 91 promises that we are protected by God. But there are certain conditions that we need to meet. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Friends, the condition here is this that we need to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Once we do that, then we earn God's protection because it says that then we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The shadow here means God's protection. Therefore, in order to earn the protection of God, we need to get to the secret place of the Most High. We need to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. The moment we do that, we automatically end God's protection in our lives. In Isaiah chapter 54, verses 17, we read, No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn it in the name of Jesus. Friends, when you are under the protection of God, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. 
no material, no property, no equipment that is buried in the earth or cast into the river or tied in the air against you shall prosper because the protection of God destroys the ability of the devil to operate in your life. The protection of God destroys the devil's ability to interfere in your life. The protection of God destroys the enemy intention against your life. Therefore, if you are under the protection of God, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn it in the name of Jesus. To effectively activate our faith in God, the third and final thing we need to know is to reimagine our relationship with Jesus. For those who are believers, is to rekindle our relationship with Jesus. Is to reimagine our relationship with Jesus. For those who are not Christians, is through relationship with Jesus Christ our Lord. Looking at Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding the shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. To confidently place our trust in God, we must continually walk in relationship with Jesus and in daily prayer, developing and having an intimate relationship with Jesus will give us a fresh revelation of the nature and power of God and our right as his children. Then with Jesus on your side, in him and through him, you can approach the throne of grace. You can approach the throne of heaven. You can approach the throne of God in total freedom and confidence. Having an active and effective faith in your life will enable you to read your Bible and pray every day. It will enable you to explore the Holy Scriptures of God. Having an active faith will make you obedient to God and His Word. Having an active faith will lead you to bless your household and to bless your neighbors. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we've had together. We thank you for teaching us about what it means to activate our faith and what it, it means to effectively have an active faith in our lives. And so we pray that as we have learned about the ways in which we can have an active faith in you and to obey your word and to follow you, we pray that you inspire us by your spirit that these words we have heard today will become part of our daily lives. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Friends, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.